with the Dow sitting above 22,000, it's worth keeping in mind that this is historically a bad month for stocks. But, as Bob Pisani tells us, the hope is this time there's an August surprise. Could we get an August surprise to help us beat a summer swoon? You know, August is typically a lousy month for stocks. It's the second to worst month of the year. It's only been up five times in the last 20 years. That's terrible. But the bulls are hopeful that they can confound all the expectations and pull out another monthly advance. The hope is that any profit taking in technology after Apple's strong numbers will cause weaker sectors to rotate to the forefront. So rotation centers around two groups, energy and financials. Is this going to work? Maybe. For oil stocks to get moving, we need oil consistently over $50 a barrel. We haven't had that. But after being stuck in the 42 to 45 range for several months, oil is now trading in a regular 45 to $50 channel, and energy stocks have begun to respond. So names like Chevron and Schlumberger, they're all off their July lows, but it's still very tentative. The key to getting financials going is to get a modest breakout in short-term interest rates and get President Trump's administration to talk more about deregulation. That's the key. So expectations for a modest rise in rates have already begun to move large regional banks like BB&T and Fifth Third since earnings seasons ended a couple of weeks ago. But this too is really very tentative. Ownership of bank stocks are way up this year and there's not a lot of confidence in the Trump agenda at the moment and that's the biggest problem. Another hopeful sign though, however, several subsectors that have been badly beaten up this year are starting to show some signs of life and they may provide new leadership in August and September. So for example, AT&T and Verizon, the telecoms have been great since earnings and the retailers, even retailers like Target and Gap are finally starting to get over their Amazon funk. We'll see if we can pull out another rally for the third quarter. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Bassani at the New York Stock Exchange.